There's no such thing as too confident, really, if you're doing the work. So I think that Girl Power is about owning that aspect of yourself and not letting people define what's too much for you. You're meant to be confident. I think if we don't see girls succeed in STEM, it's a really challenging future for us. So for girls to come to an event like the Girl Powered event, they look around and they go, oh, other girls are interested in this too. I'm not the only one. And so then they're going to work a little bit harder and they're going to be more willing to stick with it. It was less about just engineering or science or math, but it was more about how do you really speak up for yourself, learning how to build confidence and not giving up. I just love it. There's no like, oh, we have to build a volcano. You could go completely mad scientist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just reach your creative peak as far as you can go. This isn't a room full of just four people. It's closer to 400 people. And all of us, you know, are really vibing and digging the fact that we can code, and we can hack, and we can do robotics. I was kind of like nervous of like doing something wrong or like getting at the competition, something breaks, something happens. I was a little scared that I like would build something up and then it'd be wrong and then everyone would be like, no. But then um, whenever I got to the team, they were like super supportive and stuff. It's like I feel empowered. It was really nice. So it's not just about having a supportive environment, but also making sure it exists everywhere. If we back off, if we slow down, the world's just not going to be a better place. We don't want girls to become almighty and powerful. We just want them to have the same amount of chances. Those boy jobs, we want to try those out. You have to say, like, give us a chance. The girls can't be what they can't see, so here they're getting to see STEM professionals on the panel. I am continuing this legacy of helping and empowering people, so I thought, hey, why don't I share my story? If it empowers one to stay in and help everybody else, then my job is done. If you can be out there and be the person where they can stand on your shoulders to do even more, these girls are worth it. Some days I feel like, oh, I just want to be a teacher. Other days I feel like I want to be the president. And being able to say I belong here in a room where there may be no one else that looks like you. Nobody's doing you a favor. They're gonna try and make you feel like they're doing you a favor. They are not. You're there because you're talented enough, because you have good ideas, because you're smart enough, because you put in the work. One girl cannot complete this mission alone, but looking at this, you went, you know what? We've got that multiple people. I'm gonna cherish this moment forever. It's just overwhelming to think that we could actually do it, but you can be whoever you want to be. It's true.